What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in New York City at Stadium Goods with multi-platinum rapper Kevin Gates. It's nothing I can't do. I'm half man, half amazing. Gonna do some sneaker shopping today. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. Hopefully. Let's go. Around 2013, 2014, I saw an interview and you said I was wearing sneakers once or twice and I was getting rid of them. But it wasn't to flex. You said that every time you saw a scuff, it brought you back to humble beginnings. It did, it, it, it was like, I don't know, I'm like OCD. I mean, I'm starting to get out of it now, mm -hmm. but anytime I saw a stain, like I can't, like, I said in a song, picked up on homicide and posted bail in 30 minutes. Self-esteem low, I can't be seen with dirty tennis. See, it was almost like a phobia, you I said. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. I try to wipe them off as much as I can, yeah. but if I see something that's unchangeable. <clears throat> Forget it. And then when I go in a store, I'm trying to buy every, hey, y'all got the retro ones? Yeah, let me get all the tin in the house. You were wearing white on white retro ones, but you were also wearing the Adidas Pro model. The Adidas Pro back model. Back in the day. You loved those kind of the, the, simple, the, classic, the, iconic the silhouettes. The top 10 with the slim lip and Air Force Ones. Air Force Ones, of course. And all it, white, of course. Yep. Cocaine, everything. Okay, okay. And then now, all white Vans. Yeah, I got the Vans on. And still Jordan Ones, favorite of yours? Okay. I've become more of a collector. Okay. So. Now I've gotten into the colors and the things of that nature. Like all the Jordans that I couldn't get when I was younger, right. like I go get them now. And then I think it's pretty neat when somebody tell me, well, this one got the Nike on the back. Nike Air, so yeah. I'm not a, I'm not a sneaker here, but I'm starting to learn about the sneaker culture. So it's like, okay, I, I make sure I get the ones with the Nike on the back. That's the OG. Yes. I just, I don't know that much, you know. But you're learning as you but go. But I'm learning. Kevin, I saw a couple days ago you're on stage, I think in Detroit, all Nike dry fit. Fitness attire performing in that. Yeah, I'm sponsored by Nike. <laughs> what, Joke. <laughs> what's it like now that you're in shape to wear that attire, like workout gear, comfortable? I mean, I'm the artist that trains like an athlete. Mm -hmm. I model a lot of my, my antics and my charisma after Muhammad Ali. Yes. Being that I used to box, I look at the music game like boxing. Okay. And you, you, you gotta be in shape. Like a lot of people don't know this, I'm just gonna tell you this secret. Okay. Like before every performance, even New York, when I was up here, I go work out. Right before? But right before every show, okay. I work out. And it puts you in that mindset, like a boxer. It released them endorphins and it had me just... <laughs> Ready. <laughs> Mike. Mike. And you wore Vapor Maxes. Do you like this type of training shoe? You talked about the Nike Zoom Fly SP. What are your favorites right now to work out? My favorite right now is the Vapor Max. Okay. And the reason I love Vapor Max is because I play soccer. Yeah. And it's like a cleat without the cleats right. on the bottom. So I feel like I'm still a soccer player mm -hmm. when I have on Vapor Max. You boxed and you played soccer. What were you better at growing up? Is there, if you stuck with it, do you think you could have went really far? You want me to be honest? Yes. It's nothing I can't do. I'm okay. half man, half amazing. All right. Yeah, the man of myth and the list. Okay. <laughs> Muhammad Ali, you were talking about, you also said that you were a fan of Floyd Mayweather. The last fight you went to a Mayweather, I know he's retired, was a Toro Gotti. That, no, he, that's the last fight I saw. But you stopped watching because there was a very specific reason. Do you remember why? I can't. After I meet you, I can't watch you none of your fights no more. Right. Like, why? I can't watch you get hit. I can't do that. Yeah, that's Just what you said. Just tell me about it after it's over with. Why He's are you like, watching why it? you can't come? I say, man, if he hit you too hard, I'm gonna jump in the ring. Exactly. That's I what you said. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh God, no! I yeah. can't do it. That's just me. I love him too much. Kevin, marquee athletes are big fans of yours. Another Baton Rouge guy, Odell Beckham Jr., big fan of yours. Well, I'm a big fan of him. Yeah. I don't watch none of his games. Why not? Because I get too emotional. I just like the what we just talked about. Yeah, because I, I just seen the highlight of when he got choked. I Couple text weeks him, ago. what you want me to do? <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> that was bad. Say the words. That was bad. Say the fucking words. <laughs> He the one who really speared me into this direction of athleticism. Like, I watch the shit he doing, I'm like, if Crazy. I could just do half of that, <laughs> yeah. I'm in the building. And he had Air Force Ones come out. Did you support them? And did you buy those when those came I out? I every, uh, you talking about the noise cancellation? Yeah. I didn't even know that was his shoe. Okay. I swear to God, true story. I was in a Nike store. I said, what are these? I tried it on and they got that slim lip. 
Yeah. Like the Adidas top 10, that slim lip, that, that curve across the lip, whatever part of your foot. Mm -hmm. And I put it on and I was like, oh, this bitch, <laughs> bitch fly. They yeah. said, these the Odell Beckhams. What? I got on the phone with him. Like, why you didn't tell me you had a shoe out? <laughs> hey, give, hey, give me every pair you got in my size right now today. How many pairs did you leave with? I got every pair in my size. Okay. I don't remember. Okay. I know it was a load. We have to talk Baton Rouge again. Specific footwear to that area. It was big on Reeboks. Was it big on Reeboks when you were coming up, or was it other? Super big on Reeboks. Soldieries and things like that? Yeah. Soldier Reeboks. Soldier Slim was the one who hollered about the Soldier Reeboks and then yeah. Cash Money, they with them being from New Orleans. And it was just like a cultural thing for yeah. Louisiana that uh, everybody wore Reeboks. You, that was the flash shoe at yeah. the, that one time till the Air Force Ones came out. We've been talking a lot about fitness. I saw that the Push It video that's out now. You had a stunt double, but you did the hey. running by yourself. What happened hey. on that? I almost died for you people. Y'all better love me for that. The push-up video, you're running, you're Man, working I had, out? I had blisters on the top of my toes that looked like my knuckles, all red, because the stunt double didn't wear any socks. And if I would've wore socks, it wouldn't have looked right for the stunt double. So I had to jog a country mile, country miles, with no socks on. And what kind of shoes them with some Air Max? Yeah. Them the worst shoes in the world. Air Max, y'all owe me some money. Okay. Pain and suffering. Have they recovered? Have the feet recovered since? Yeah, they recovered. I've been going to my Asians, my little Asian persuasion. She been getting me together. Yeah, she so just been, yeah. You're she good been now. taking care of my little feet. Got you. You know. Well, we talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Browse the shelves, see what you're gonna buy. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Welcome to Stadium Goods, Mr. Gates. What you feeling today? I think I'm gonna do this one. For sure. In a 11. You check that. And I think I'm gonna do this one. This 10 and a half, and I want that in a 11. No problem, man. And then let me get a couple of them five pounder hats that I had you pick out for me. That's the one you're wearing. Yeah, <laughs> this one has some more. Got you, man. Okay, your total today is gonna be three thousand four hundred six dollars and seventy cents. Three thousand? In my day, it was fifty cents. <laughs> Ain't no security tag on you, huh? Nope, you're good to go. Here you go. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. Yes, Lord. <laughs> So, Kevin came through, got some sneakers, got some hats. Thanks so much for taking the time. Hey, thank you for having me. Make sure you check out I'm Him, available everywhere right now. <laughs>